Conrad, one of the scenarios uh, about Obamacare is that come June when the U.S. Supreme Court rules on this case and its constitutionality that it could be struck down, and that's causing a lot of panic. But how bad a scenario do you think that actually is? Removing Obamacare from the political environment um, could be a boon for the president because it removes a lightning rod that, let's face it, I mean, most Americans still have a lot of difficulty getting their head around with the idea of the state forcing individuals, even if it doesn't affect them, forcing individuals to buy a product. And Republicans have really milked that sentiment. So you have to believe that the re-election team around President Obama wouldn't be that disappointed if Obamacare got struck down. But Conrad, this is the president's signature law. This is that thing that he holds up. It looks like a failed presidency. How do you take that to the voters in November? Well, I mean, they obviously won't be campaigning on Obamacare regardless of what happens at the Supreme Court. They'll be campaigning on the economy. But for Barack Obama personally, you have to believe that, I mean, Obamacare is his legacy and it's probably the thing he is most proud of. In fact, you know, Tim Geithner, his Treasury Secretary, when Obamacare was going through, Obama wanted to do bigger things, but uh, Tim Geithner said your legacy should be saving uh, the United States from a second Great Depression, not Obamacare. And for Mitt Romney, who is right now campaigning on repealing Obamacare, with, if, if Obamacare were taken off the table by a U.S. Supreme Court decision, that might not be such a bad thing for the Mitt Romney campaign either, because he's vulnerable on that issue, isn't he? Yeah, Mitt Romney has yet to square the circle of, you know, at once opposing Obamacare, but defending Romney Care, which is the law he passed in Massachusetts as governor in 2006. And as much as Mitt Romney has tried to suggest that his state mandate is different from the federal mandate, for a lot of Republicans and for a lot of Americans, it still represents this expansive use of state power. So for Mitt Romney, it probably wouldn't be such a bad thing either.